Hey, Beer Tubers, Ryan, back another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Back on the couch. We're going to look at a uh, seasonal release from Alesmith. And this is their Yulesmith. The winter Yulesmith, as you can tell, it's red and green instead of red and blue like the summer version. Uh, if you remember, I reviewed the summer Yulesmith earlier this year, and it is by far one of the best IPAs on the planet. The uh, winter version is a imperial red ale, but it's still going to have big hops, but it's going to have more of a bigger malt character in there. You know, like uh, American style and or red ale. And uh, let's get this thing poured out. Yeah, it's definitely pouring, as you can see, a lot darker. A lot darker. Yeah, it's it's definitely on that kind of really dark amber into, I mean, it's not quite like a ruby red, but it definitely has some red tinge, kind of like a really dark kind of burnt orange character. Got about a finger of a sort of off-white yellow head on there. Nice looking beer. Um, it's pretty hazy as well as bottle conditioned beer. And uh, moderate carbonation coming through. Let's get the nose on it. On the nose, I mostly get hops. And I forgot to mention the ABV, I believe it's 9.5%. Per it's actually 8.5% this year. I think the past versions would have been 9.5%. But, um, yeah, getting a lot of, like, spicy hop notes. Some, some floral notes for sure. There's also some kind of resiny uh, bitter grapefruit notes as well. Yeah, but um, definitely more of an earthy, spicy character to this version. And uh, bits of caramel malt kind of coming through on the aroma, but this is very fresh. I kind of hate the breweries are doing these uh, winter seasonals at the release of October, but you know, it's a quarter system and they want to get them out early. That I kind of get, I wish it'd go away though. But uh, enough of that rant, let's dig in, cheers. Oh yeah, it's a big, big beer. A lot of flavor going on. I actually get more malt up front along with some hoppiness in the finish, but um, eight and a half percent. Can't really taste it a whole lot. Good solid medium mouthfeel to it. And uh, very smooth drinking beer. Uh, I believe it is bottle conditioned, so that leaves the nice little tight white bubbles on it. Really just smooths the beer out, makes it really much more drinkable compared to a lot of forced carbonated beers. Not always the case, but um, I do love uh, bottle conditioned beers. So up front, I actually get, it's almost like the malt comes in first and then immediately followed by the hops. And then as the malt kind of intensity hits you first, it sort of fades away as the kind of hops ramp up. And then it finishes dry like a, an IPA with a decent amount of lingering bitterness. The only difference is being the, there's some lingering malt notes as well. Up front you get some big bready caramel notes. And then um, I'm probably drinking this a little too cold to get some of those malt notes. But the bitterness sort of follows that nose. It has this earthy floral uh, spice character to it. So hot wise, it's it's definitely different than the summer version, in the sense that it, it's not that big citrusy, fruity American you know West Coast San Diego style hot bomb. Definitely kind of falls more of like maybe like there's a Chinook in there, some of that kind of there's some pininess in there too, kind of piney grapefruitiness, some uh, spice notes bit of a spiciness, earthy, and floral note. So it's, uh, really, I'm going to let this warm up a little bit, come back, see if we get some more out of it. All right, back with Yule Smith, winter edition from Ale Smith. Been drinking this one a lot more. It definitely reminds me somewhat of, like, Arrogant Bastard, which is kind of like an imperial red ale. This one's got a little more ABV. It hides the alcohol pretty well. You feel it more than taste it. Um, as I drink more, the pineiness kind of comes out in the back end for the hops. And the front end has this nice sort of uh, 
kind of like yeasty ester fruitiness to it that kind of matches a really nice caramel note to it. There's maybe like a touch of like a roasted note in there or like a chocolate note, just a very, very faint hint of that in there. It probably helps kind of give it some of this color, but mostly just nice big caramel notes up front. Um, fresh, this tends to be more hot forward. I mean, this does taste kind of like essentially a red IPA with the amount of bitterness that's there. It is a good amount. So if you're a hop head, you're gonna love this beer. Uh, if you're into more balanced beers, maybe pick one up, let it age a little bit more, maybe crack it at, you know, closer to Christmas time as those hops are going to die down. The malt character will be there. But um, yeah, this is really, really excellent beer, sort of that, like I said, Imperial Red IPA, essentially. So I'm going to give this one A-. minus. Uh, it's, it's really, really nice and drinkable. I wish there was a bit little bit more complexity with the, the malt character on it, but if you think of it as just an IPA, it's it's fantastic. So it's gonna wrap up this review. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.